This one is going to be quick. It's about efficient debt. This is about designing architectures. And we saw efficient net before. This is an extension of efficient net for detection. What is the idea? We know that with pyramids of features, you're going to be able to locate objects at different scales. And you want to extend that. Your backbone is going to give you a bunch of uh, hidden layers or feature maps at different levels. And you want to design this F function, which is about making these features more discriminative at different layers, make them stronger. We know about feature pyramid network. You have your P in. I think it's easier if I unravel this figure here. This is feature pyramid network. From one layer to the one before, you're going to have double the resolution. Or if you go from this layer to the top, you're reducing the resolution by a factor of two. You're going to take this P7, apply a convolution on it, which is one by one convolution. That's going to give you P out. Then you want to go down. You need to resize this feature, double its resolution, and add it to the one before, push it through a convolution. And this is the way that you're making these layers more and more discriminative or semantically stronger. This idea we saw before, there are a couple of extensions to that idea. Not only you go down, you can also go up. You can repeat this multiple times. You can have multiple layers of it from left to right. You can have repeated blocks. You can use neural architecture search to find these, or you can have by FPN, which is the method of this paper. What do you do? Let's see. You take P6 as an input, you take the op resolve version of P7, and then you weight it, you have a weighted combination of those two. And then you divide by the weights so that these add up to one. And epsilon is for you not to divide by zero. Now you're here. You want to go to P6 out. What would you do? You take P6 as an input. This is this guy. You take the outcome from what we just computed, which is this arrow here. And then you have one from bottom up, which is going to resize, which is about down sampling. And then it's a weighted average of all of those. And then you keep repeating that over and over again. This is the entire architecture. For your backbone, you're going to use efficient net. We saw efficient net long time ago when we were talking about small networks and auto ML. Then you're going to have different layers of this by FPN. And then you're going to have a classification head and a regression head for your boxes. Similar to efficient net, you're going to have this compound scaling, which is going to allow you to make your neural network as big or as small as you want using a single hyperparameter. And then depending on your target device, you're going to use the smaller models or the faster ones. I think it's a good time for me to stop. For those of you who have questions, I'll be around.